Hi, today we'll discuss about how to create an engagement form. So initially we need to log into our admin credentials. Once we log in, the first screen that we come across is the screen, there's a dashboard that we call, which gives us the complete overview of our account, including the summary, analysis, and all the reports, and all the shortcut keys as well. Now, in order to create an engagement form, where we need to go? We need to create it in a campaign. So in a campaign level only, we need to create an engagement form so that whatever the leads would be present over there once we uh, start working on that after that the time of disposition whatever the engagement form whatever the questionnaire will create we'll be able to see it and update it now in order to create it in a campaign what we need to do is first we need to go to a pipeline so in the left hand side we'll click on the pipeline once we click on the pipeline then there are multiple pipelines are coming so whatever are being present in our new of portal in our account so let's say we have a campaign in sales for sales purpose there might be a campaign and in that particular campaign we want to set up a questionnaire form or our engagement form then what we need to do we just need to simply click on the sales pipeline once we click on that it will get redirected us to the sales pipeline under the sales pipeline we can see our basic overview along with that whatever the campaigns are been present in the sales pipeline all the campaigns are been uh, visible at the right hand side one after another as we can see under the campaign section now in case of any of the existing campaign so what we need to do is we just need to click on any of the campaign so let's say it's a new of i'll simply click on new of campaign over here it's a complete fresh campaign not a single uh, leads has been uploaded not an engagement form has been updated over here so now in order to update the engagement form or edit the engagement form what we need to do we have gone to this particular campaign. Now, at the top right corner, there's an action button. We need to click on this action button and there's a second option that is engagement form. We need to click over here. Once we click on the engagement form, we can see there are multiple options coming in the left hand side under the question type section. And the right hand side, there's a section wise few of the questions are there as by default. So what we need to do is initially, I'll just delete or remove all these existing questions and I'll do it from scratch so that it will be easier for us to understand uh, what's the basic details of it and how to create it and how to use it or edit it or might be how to customize it. So let us just remove it all. Uh, there are a couple of questions been already present. So yeah, it's almost removed. Yeah, now we can see this particular section. This is basically the engagement form section. On the right hand side, the complete section is back and it's blank. And the left hand side, there's a question types, all the types of questions available. So what are the ways we want to set up a question? We can set it up from here. So let's say under the question types, there's a paragraph. If we want to set up a script for our users to check it and uh, like uh, repeat it or see it at the time of calling, then what we can do, the paragraph option, we need to just hold it and drag and drop it to the right hand side. Then whatever the script or the calling pitch would be there in our business model, we can set it up over here. So accordingly, whenever they make the calls, after the call, whenever they mark it as guest connected, automatically this particular script will get fetched up. And if they forget the script, the users can simply refer to this. They can simply read it, whatever they will see. Then after the script, there's a one line text option as we can see. If we just drag and drop to the right hand side, we can see if we want to set up a one line answer for a question, then we can use this. We can just simply edit the question. What's your name? Uh, like instead of what is your name, we can just uh, like put any of the question, whatever we want to ask. Okay. So for any of the one line answer for a question, we can drag and drop one line text option as many times as we want. Okay. After one line text question, there's a number option. So basically, if we want to set up a number specific question, then number is the option. We can simply drag and drop to the right hand side and we can see. So if we want to ask any kind of number specific question, then it will only take the numbers itself. So we can just edit the question, whatever we want. And from the user portal, only numbers will be taken. Okay. Multiline text. Multiline text means if we have, uh, we want to ask a question with whose answer would be a bit lengthy, then we can use multiline text option. Like what is your address and all. Okay. So we can anyway, no, not only address, except address also, we can just uh, change it off the like if we can edit it off the details so we can do that then after that there's a date option so if you want to ask any kind of date specific or time specific question then date and time option is there 
we can simply drag and drop to the right hand side we can just check it off even we if you want we can just uh, simply edit the question also and then we can do it date and time is there then after that there's an option called select one option if you just drag and drop to the right hand side we can see if in case we have to set up a multiple choice question then select one option is the particular option which we can use so instead of what is your budget we can edit off the question and in that particular question whatever the answers we want to put it as options just scroll it down and there are a couple of options for the option for this particular question so whatever the options we want to set it up for this question we can edit it off over here in the option section if you want to remove it from the right hand side we can just click on the cross button and it will get removed if you want to add an option there's an add option uh, option as well button as well we just need to click on it then automatically our particular option will get created okay even along with this options there's another option called is there a required question if we enable it then in all the questions there would be a uh, there would be this particular option so that particular question will get mandatory without filling up the answer of that particular question the users won't be able to submit it then allow other as an option if we enable it then along with the options whatever the options we have set it up already there will be another option showing that is other once the users click on other then another uh, blank space will pop up over there they will be able to write it out that what is that particular option so it's pretty much important and necessary to put it if there are chances that any other option can come up so we can use it then map this question to a custom contact property so the custom contact property that we usually created uh, in order to create a like search and filter option if you want to map it with any of the question whatever we just collect it from the uh, customers so we can map it also so accordingly whatever the questions uh, will whatever the answers will collect it if it gets mapped to any of the field or any of the uh, header then automatically in that particular search and filter option we'll be able to filter out the data as per that particular option or as per that particular field so it is also very much important and mandatory uh, not mandatory but yeah it's it's very much necessary to use if you want to then below select one option there's a select multiple option as well select multiple option means if you just drag and drop to the right hand side so what are the question we want to select we want to set it up for the engagement form we just need to uh, like click it on from the left hand side and drag and drop to the right hand side select more multiple option means uh, so if you want to ask a multiple choice question and in that particular option in the, that particular question if you want our users to select more than one options then select multiple option is a particular uh, choice that they can take then drop down drop down is basically uh, like it's a it's a kind of substitute for select one option itself drop down is also a kind of multiple choice question but it will show as a drop down all the options it won't show as a separate different different options yeah then after that the send message send message means if you want to send up a message or a, we want to set up a template message template or format then we can set it up over here in the thanks for getting in touch with us in that place and high contact name and regards username is in some different format that means it's a variable it will automatically fetch the details from the database so send message will allow the users to send it across three mediums sms email and whatsapp so they can choose any of the medium and then automatically it will redirect them to that medium and they can send it across then there's an option called attach file so if we just drag and drop to the attach file attach file means if there is a uh, like field agent who is working on field if he or she is like generating a lead at that point of time what they can do is they can use this option and they can at the time of generating a lead they would be able to attach any of the file or any of the details uh, by this so that it would be like uh, easier for the admin or the manager also to understand yeah yeah this particular lead has been uploaded with this particular uh, details or something then along with that we can enable the geo tagging also if we enable this geo tagging then what will happen then the complete geographical location will also get captured where the lead has been generated like where the details has been captured or uploaded okay so it is also very much mandatory if we can use it and then there is an option called send email so send email means if you want to set up a email format or a html email format which should get triggered from a centralized email id rather than personal email id then we can set it up over here we can set some cc and bcc always whenever the email will get triggered they will get it and uh, always whenever the email will get triggered it will go from a same uh, sub uh, it will get, go from a same centralized email id with a same subject then we can set it up over here so there are some uh, like some kind of updates are there some kind of setup we need to do it from the particular email id uh, from where we want to set it up so we'll discuss it later regarding this so yeah that's all about the engagement form and whatever the changes that we are doing it over here after the changes what we need to do is we just simply need to click on save changes once we click on save changes all the 
all the changes whatever we have done it it will get updated whatever the changes we have updated it in the uh, engagement form all the uh, like complete setup or the engagement form will get updated so that is how we can create an engagement form and then after that whatever the setup will do after the setup we need to click on save changes so that all the particular uh, question here or the script or the message format everything will get saved up as per the point that whatever we have done it and then accordingly it will be visible to the users as well from the user portal and then accordingly they would be able to see it they will keep on asking the questions to the customers at the time of call whatever the answers they will get they will keep on updating it and submit it once they will submit all the details will get captured in the database and then when the admin or the manager whoever will download the report they will get all the details whatever has been captured okay for all the customers okay so that's all about the engagement form how uh, that how we can create it and how we can manage it how we can customize it and how we can utilize it in a much better way so thank you very much